Often when creating objects, such as this keyhole tool, you'll find that it's actually created as a combination of several different shapes put together, which in this case is an edited rectangle and a simple circle. But to move this keyhole around and to work with it, you have to remember to always select both objects by holding down the shift key. Uh, if you don't, then you'll end up inadvertently moving one object away from the other. Illustrator provides an option where you can take these two complex objects and paths and make them into a single shape. This is done using the Shape Builder tool. This tool is new to CS5 and is fairly easy to use. Notice that the cursor, when the Shape Builder tool is selected, has a little plus sign. That's because it defaults into merge mode, which allows you to merge the paths together. Before you start with the Shape Builder tool, you need to make sure that all of the paths that you want to combine are selected. So to combine these two shapes, we need to select both of them by holding down the shift key and clicking on them with the Select Object tool. Then with the Shape Builder tool, you will notice that the Shape Builder tool has a small plus sign next to its cursor. This is because by default, the Shape Builder tool starts in merge mode, which allows you to merge shapes together. You can see here it highlights three different pieces of the two paths that it can identify. To merge these together, you simply need to click and drag from one to the other. Once the outline of the shape that you want is completed, release the mouse and the objects are all connected into one. Next, we'll move over to this document to see another example. Again, start by selecting all of the paths that you wish to combine and select the Shape Builder tool. You can then drag between the different shapes to define the outline of the shape that you want to create. You can combine them in steps by dragging and releasing several times and cumulatively adding to the existing shape. You can also hold down the shift key to change the cursor to a rectangular marquee. This will allow you to quickly select a large group of areas much faster and easier. If you hold down the Alt or Option key, then you can select areas that you want to remove from the current shape. This is subtraction mode, and it works easily by just holding down a key. Once all the shapes that you want to add to the given shapes are added in, then the entire shape will be outlined. The Shape Builder tool also has some options that you can deal with, and you can access those by double-clicking on the icon in the toolbox. The first option is the gap detection. By enabling this, you can combine areas even if they do not overlap, such as these two circles. The gap detection can be set between small, medium, and large, or to a custom value. And if you plan on using gap detection, it's important that the gap is close to the setting that you set. So here with the Shape Builder tool and gap detection enabled, if all objects are selected, I can move between the gaps to combine them, which is a handy setting to have. The other options are to consider open fill paths as closed and to be able to split a path by clicking on it while in merge mode. This is helpful if you have different paths separated in different ways. If all these objects are selected, I can use the Shape Builder tool to click on this path to divide it which changes the way that the objects are merged together and gives me more control over the final shape. One of the final options has to do with the style and color that is applied to the given objects. For example, if I have these four shapes selected, 
I can set to pick the fill color for these objects using color swatches or using the artwork. The color that is determined is based on the first color that is selected when I start to drag. So if I start from this green circle and drag to the purple circles, I can slowly make the entire thing the same color as the one I started on. However, if I go the opposite way from the purple to the green, then the entire thing will turn purple. So the color of the object as you create the shape is dependent on the one that you start with. The final option has to do with the highlight color and the highlight fill, which you can turn on and off as needed. The Shape Builder provides a great way to create custom shapes that make it easy to work with and move complex shapes without having to pick all of its individual parts as you move them.